Hey you guys, this is going to be a channeling reading. Um, hope you guys can hear me. I have my music playing in the background. So I'm just kind of finessing myself. It's Valentine's Day still where I'm at. So, you know, and I like my little 90s R&B playlist. I don't know if you can hear my music, but I got Jodeci on. I love Jodeci. Um, I'm going to try to speak up because people usually do comment and say they can't hear me even though I'm speaking up as loud as I can and I do have like a like a mellow voice so it's kind of hard to hear but um yes yeah, so I just want to you know play my music and I have a channeling that I want to get out so just bear with me you guys okay so um I might pull some cards I don't know because I always like I said I just channel messages I usually write them down as like the messages come to me or I just they just come I just spit them out so um <laughs> sorry I'm just jamming to my music but um yeah I love Jodeci they need to do a, uh, a movie for Jodeci I would love to see that um that new edition movie that's I love that it was so bomb I love it but they need to do a Jodeci one. I would see that too. Because I like the TLC one. I thought that was pretty dope. I just love the 90s, I think. Everything 90s. Alright, so um, let me go into this channeling that I have. So the messages I've been getting like have been kind of crazy. I feel like Spirit has been sending the messages out. And I've been getting this for the past couple of weeks for everyone. That there's someone around you like close in your atmosphere like some whether you know of them or you don't know of them um it's like someone is around you in your atmosphere and they're coming and what i mean by that someone this is like a, a lifetime partner for you i don't feel like it's gonna be a dating situation so but spirit wants to advise you you will have people that will come around you know and try to um, connect with you or will have interest in you but the thing is it's up to you you'll obviously know whether or not you're interested right off the bat like okay I could have 10,000 guys come up to me but if I don't feel anything if there's no spark that their attention means nothing so I feel like that's what you have to pay attention for and it's not just for women men too like someone can come up to you could have all of these people throwing themselves at you, these women or whatever, throwing themselves at you. But if there's nothing there, they could be the finest thing. <laughs> okay. And it's just nothing there. So I guess spirit is trying to tell you, like, you'll know, like, who this person is. I'm also getting that some may even have gotten the message, like, okay, that's my, like, that's my partner or that's my husband or that's my wife. Like, this message might have came to you. Or something like that and it's it's pretty that message is pretty alarming for one it's like okay what if I'm just making it up for some of you it's like what reason would I have to even think that why would that come up so spirit is telling you um, if you got a message that you have a husband or wife okay or that someone's coming or um, like, they could have gave you a specific person, or it could just be that they're telling you that they're out there or that they're coming, okay? Why Spirit is telling me this? Because it could be like, why would I need to know that? Like, that's not something that I would want to know. Like, now I'm just going to be, like, waiting around. I'm going to try to see the results. And, you know, but Spirit is saying the reason why it was said was because you have a right to know, obviously. Also, they're saying that you can handle that information, it's because you're ready to hear it and also you're spiritually mature enough to have that information is what I'm getting. Um, also, they're telling you it gives you time to prep yourself by either healing or working on yourself still. Like there may be some things that you still need to work on in your life, clear your life or heal yourself of something. So it's prepping you for that, for that good thing that you want. Are you really ready? That's what I'm getting. Um I'm also getting that they're telling you to just relax and be happy that there is someone out there for you. Like the fact that you know that for sure. You don't have to 
second guess it and wonder if you're ever going to have a lifetime partner or whatever. Whether you believe in marriage or not, some people don't believe in it or the traditional sense, like the walking down the aisles and stuff. People don't, not everyone does it. Um, but just getting like the spiritual aspect of it, the partner, the lifetime person to know that they're out there. Also, um, I'm just getting, because if you got the message, just trust and believe that that person did too. Also, I'm getting, so whether you know the person or they know you, they've got the message. So however that, however that resonates for you. So I'm getting like, um, they could, you know, just be living their lives and spirit just told them that their significant other is coming around the corner or they're going to meet them soon. Or they might even got the specific message that you're that person and you got it too. So just know that if you got a message, that other person received it too. Okay. Um, another thing, the reason, another reason why you both know is to see that you're not ready for that yet it's like a push encouragement to get you on that path for that for what you say that you want another thing that I'm getting is um, it's like a push to purge you from anything that does not serve you anymore all the things in your life that just don't serve you so how not to obsess over this or obsess over that person if you know who it is. They're saying just know what you know. Like just trust in it, rejoice in it, and live your life. And know that that's going to happen. It's not, you don't have to rush it, control it, obsess over it. It's kind of like this example that I've been getting. It's like something that just comes up. I always get these weird like um, stories like um, in my mind but the one that has been coming up lately is like what does it matter if this person is meant to be in my life or not or if you know someone tells me I'm gonna win a million dollars like what does it matter um, how I'm gonna get it or when I'm really gonna get it do I have to obsess over the fact that I will be a millionaire or just do I just say okay I know I'm gonna be a millionaire or I am a millionaire and that money's gonna come to me when it's meant to it's also like with your parents, like, okay, I know that that's my mother now. I know that's my mom. Do I have to obsess over it and question, is this my mom? She kind of looks like me, but I don't know. Is that my mom? Should I get a DNA test? It's like, you wouldn't question that. You know, you got the message. You got the answer. You know something. So it's like, just, okay, it is it is what it is. I'm just going to go with it. I'm not going to obsess over it. I'm not going to question it over it's over and it's you know it's normal for us because in our logical mind we have to rationalize everything especially if it's like something as far out as you know you just getting a message that oh I have a, a soulmate or I have a divine partner or I have, I have a husband or I have a wife that's coming or that person is and it could be like why did you tell me that because now it's like I'm gonna be looking out for that spirit again is telling you because you're ready to hear it and it's to show you whether or not you're ready for that thing or not because more than likely you're both not ready it's not one person is and the other isn't one might be totally at a different pace than you but the sign the whole thing is to prep yourself because obviously you're not ready for that and this is not to be confused with the whole twin flame theory or topic because I believe everybody has a significant other out there this partnership is what you make it it's what it's meant to be for you what true love means for you it doesn't have any labels it doesn't have any steps as far as like it has to be this and you have to see this happening and this is gonna happen like we're gonna split up and we're gonna get back together it's not none of that that stuff like we're way past or at least I'm past that whole theory of things I don't even like labels so, <laughs> but I know that I discovered that theory for a specific reason it was all to help me get me to where I am within myself but you know I don't even like labels so once you label something it's just gonna deaden what it is like once I label my best friend as just my best friend they can never be anything else they can never be my sister or 
my brother. They can never be anything else to me but just that. So you have to be careful of what you label things, especially the energy behind the word twin flame. It comes with a certain energy. And to me, it's very like, it's tiring. It's depressing. Although it does help you to grow. I feel like everyone comes into that for however spirit use that whole thing, like to that whole phenomenon to help people. I feel like it's a specific thing that it was meant to do. Kind of like a hook to get you on the path somewhere. I don't believe that, you know, it's just my belief. And I know people get upset over this thing. Like this, this twin flame topic is like Christianity. If you ask me, like, and I'm not knocking anyone that's Christian, but it's like a religion pretty much like what I believe is right. And that's wrong. If you don't believe in it, it's that type of thing that it's come to that's not freeing. And I don't like stuff like that. So, but <clears throat> that's the message that I'm getting. I don't know if spirit really has anything else like, um, that needs to be put out there, but if so, I'm just going to pull a couple cards to see if anything else comes up. Cause I feel like a lot of you doubt the fact that you know what you know, or you feel like, well, last time I thought something was, you know, something special, but that turned out not to be. And Spirit is saying, like, the reason why that's happened was simply just for you to learn the lessons, experience what it is that you deserve and what you don't deserve, what you want and what you don't want in love or in a partner. And that this time, you know better now. So whatever comes to you, you'll easily be able to discern whether it's what you really want or not and if you should move forward with it. It's not to show you that it's a repeated pattern. It's like that is that cycle is over with now. You're still going to learn lessons when it comes to love, but I don't feel like it's going to be in a form of a whole bunch of different partners, at least for the most part of you. So the death card, you can't really see it, obviously, because the lighting, but pull the death card. So that's definitely transformation, transformative energy that you're loosening yourself up from any past situations like you still might have to let go you might not be completely healed with the two of wands so yeah it's like the two of wands for me is like dwelling in two different energies do i um can't even see it do i decide to move forward in a new direction or do i stay in the past energy and dwell there so it's like you have a choice but with the death card as a major arcana, it trumps the two of wands. So it's like that cycle is ending. So no matter how much you try to revert back to the past, it's like it's no more. The nine of wands is saying that um, you might be struggling with letting go of the past. You might not be totally free of it, which is okay. At least you can acknowledge the fact that you still have some work to do. It could be fears of rejection, fears of um of things repeating themselves i'm getting that you're very attractive right now and that is a sign that obviously if you're questioning your worth and your value it's obviously showing that you're valuable of having what you want in love because i feel like a lot of you have admirers with the three of cups and the um, knight of wands so there's a lot going on around you you're very attractive i feel like a lot of people are just coming out the woodwork you might just be getting messages out of nowhere with the um, eight of wands and the page of swords there's a lot of messages coming to you so you could be getting like text messages from exes could be um you know facebook instagram twitter messages whatever from all of these different admirers and it's like you kind of don't know what to do but spirit is like using that to show you that you are desirable that you are attractive with the queen of wands so it's like your energy stands out Okay, so it's kind of like for you to see your own worth, see your own value, that that I am something or I must be, you know, pretty much just to show you that you got it right now. Like, don't doubt yourself. Don't play yourself anymore. Stop beating yourself up, okay? And if you're, like, doubting whether or not you're good enough for that partner that's coming in or that person that you got the messages for you like don't do that anymore it's like they may even see you better than you see yourself is what i'm getting like you could be because i got the star card at the bottom so it's like you're not aware of just how 
um, attractive you are, not just physically, but in your essence, how beautiful you are to that person. And they could, you know, just be watching you and the fact that you don't know is kind of like, um, it's kind of like a good thing because it's like they're watching your character to see what type of person you are is what I'm getting. And it helps them to trust the situation or trust what they're getting with you even more. So, um, yeah, I'm just getting like it helps them to trust what they're getting and for you to do that too. Like really watch people's character. You know, if you're able to do that, for some of you, you don't even know who this person is. Um, you don't have any awareness of them, but I just get this energy that this person will see you far more grand than you see yourself and divine and something beautiful. So I don't think spirit has anything else to say. I just really feel like important, um, importantly, it's, my words are crazy. They just come out really crazy. I feel like to always stay connected to what it is that you desire and what you want, always think about it. But at the same time, you do have to, you know, trust and let go that whatever it is that you are manifesting or is coming into your life will come in its divine time. Spirit already got your order. They know what you want. Also, I'm getting that it's important to focus on your healing right now and also to live your life because if you sit around and you wait and you dwell and you dwell like what do I do you could miss out on signs of you being put in that space of doing something like you could be missing the sign of bumping into that person or that person coming in for whatever reason because you're stuck and stagnant or you're still stuck on an ex or this belief system about love that doesn't serve you so I'm just getting really to step into your power and see like I got it right now like nothing can miss me that's meant for me like I got it but just the fact that I have all of these uh, these people coming into my life and you know saying I'm attractive or complimenting me or all of these other good things that are happening good in my life why would my love life be any different is what I'm getting like why would that just be a, a miss and everything else is on point so it's kind of like see yourself way more um, powerful and worthy than you have been. Okay. And not that you need anything or anyone to validate you, but spirit is kind of sending you like these little tokens to show you that, yeah, you do got it. And yeah, you are worthy. Yes, you are special. Yes, you are beautiful. You are handsome. You are intelligent. You are dynamic, whatever is good <laughs> you are so it's like you have to see that it's kind of hard for some but um don't obsess over it it's like the fact you know is because obviously your guides god trusts you for you to know that information and again i'm getting the main thing of it is they want you to get ready for that like work on yourself do whatever you got to do for yourself not so much for that person yeah you want to be the best you can be for that person but also you want to be the best for yourself and you also want to clear up any lingering things from your past you also want to live your life whatever you need to experience and go through you want to do it you want to get that out the way you also want to follow your guidance to be put in that position to be with that person or to meet that person or to know that person whatever so i feel like i'm repeating myself so pretty much the message is out there i feel so i hope that this resonates gives you guys some clarity um not so much hope i don't want to say gives you hope but pretty much helps you trust in yourself more than anything like trust in your guidance trust in your guides trust in god the higher power the universe whatever you call it for yourself that you trust in your heart more your own discernment too all right so that is the reading you guys and the message i send you guys lots of love as always peace